Paul, great effort today. Lots of aspects of the performance, I'm sure, that will please you despite the result. Just, just talk us about your team today and, and how proud are you? Yeah, I think, listen, we expect and the players know, as they've said in there, I think what we show was a tremendous amount of heart and determination and that effort to go to the end, which, which is us, which is what we want to be. Um, started the game very well and, and had the two best moments early on. Um, and we knew that those moments may be few and far between and we knew that we'd have to perform with, with a lot of discipline and, and suffering moments without the ball, but we were doing that. Uh, the frustration is we, we gave City the first two goals um, and then it's a mountain to climb. But like I said, we stuck at it, we tried to make changes. Every, and I, I would have loved someone to have got a goal for the fans this year, someone to have got a goal for that person to have scored an FA Cup semi-final. But City are champions, you know, and, and, and going for trophies for a reason. And if we get the three points that we want, that's the benchmark. That's what we're playing against. So can't feel sorry for ourselves. We've got to be better to a man if we do get three points to compete against that. Game plan, certainly for the first 45, apart from one big moment with the tackle by Jebison, seemed to go to perfection, really. Yeah, because we knew... Yeah, we knew, like some moments were few and far between. We knew... We still want to be better. We, we did go a lot more direct. Um, we didn't win enough second balls, but when we did and passed the ball well, we got around, in and around City's box. Um, when we did get set plays, we were dangerous. Um, yeah, and without the ball, we limited where they could play, which is generally in front of us and down the sides of us. But like I say, to give a penalty away it makes the game difficult. We'd have been happy keeping it that way towards the end and start risking, and then we, we gave another poor goal away from our perspective. And then it's a yeah, it's a tough ask. I mean, if there's a player you'd have wanted that chance early on to fall to, it'd have been Illiman and Jai. Is it one of them that's just come too soon in the game in a way? Possibly, possibly. But listen, there's lessons to be learned. Like I said, if we if we get the points we want and need, that's the benchmark, you know. And if you want to be a top top player. You've got to perform in those moments. So yeah, listen, there's lots to take from the game. Proud of the effort, the determination. There's, there's lots of lessons, and for, for a lot of our players, it's the first exposure to that and what the level is. And um, yeah, to a man like say, we need to be better. You made a big call, really, playing Daniel Jebison up front instead of Ollie McBurney today. What was your, your thinking behind that? Yeah, we wanted that threat on the pay with the pace and on the counter. Um, we never really got him in down the sides, um, but we knew as well that the front two, uh, the midfield three, we knew that we were going to be making changes throughout the game in those positions, and it wouldn't just be an 11. So, yeah, at any point, at any point, um, we were going to be using those front players. It was just who started, who finished the game. And of course, now it sets up a big week for your lot. I mean, this this shouldn't dampen anything for the week ahead. It should encourage you to thought, shouldn't it? Yeah, certainly. It's like a little carrot dangling there. Let's, you know, that that's what we want. This stadium, this occasion, this competition, you're getting this far wet your appetite. You know, any club wants this to become a regular thing. Um, that opposition, we want that to become a regular thing, and it's in our hands. Um, and the first step to achieving anything is, is three points. Um, and then, and only then, will I, you know, look back on this season and, and, yeah, take stock and see what spectacular season it has been. Because up until we get that, it's not. It's just one of one of promise. Um, so yeah, we've got a lot still to do. Has what you've seen over recent weeks in the league and today shown you that this players and this this group of players in the squad widely are capable of making that step up? Yeah, but we know how tough it is. It's, it, well, we, we know we're capable, but we know how tough it is, how, how fine the margins are. Um, we've got a lot of players who's faced that calibre of opposition and been comfortable. But likewise, we've also suffered at that time. You know, the, a lot of those players have then got relegated out this league and, and understand why, but there's a real hunger there to have another crack at it. Um, and then we've got a lot of other new players, younger players, who yeah, are just excited about getting to that level. Proud of the whole club today. I mean, the, the fans were incredible. You know, the, the reaction to the, the third goal going in was yeah. just, you know, everything that says about them. And, and do you know what? That, from my point of view, that, that does fill me with a, a lot of satisfaction because that's what I wanted today to be. We'd have loved the result, of course we would. But I'm a realist as well. And the one thing I did want was the place to come out, having given everything, as the fans have enjoyed everything. Um, and hopefully they have. But 
I want a bigger party than that. I want something that we can all celebrate together. Because if we do achieve it, you know, it's not just for me, it's not just for the players, it's not just for the staff at the club, it's for all the fans as well. And um, yeah, it'd be good if everyone can be there at a home game and we pick up three points. Going to get the job done this Wednesday? I hope so. That's the idea. Get my feet up. <laughs> Brilliant. Well, well, thank you.